Hey YouTube, it's Gordon the Power Sports Tech, and I'm coming at you with uh, my latest video, which is <clears throat> uh, actually I'm really excited about. It's my new toolbox tour. I didn't bother doing a toolbox tour of my old box uh, just because it was not really worth it um <clears throat> i will show you what i did have for a toolbox before uh having what what you'll see in the video um uh, i'll do a voiceover for the actual toolbox tour because i just went through it quick so i'm going to freeze frame that video and kind of talk about everything that's in the box and whatnot um <clears throat> but you'll see that once uh once i roll that clip uh but yeah so super excited i got it as a black friday deal um so yeah i hope you like that uh, just to give you an idea on what I was using before. So it's that box right there. Um, was just a basic Mastercraft. Uh, pretty small box. The top half there uh, I had when I was in the course um, that I took uh, for the college course for small engine. Uh, because it had to be a certain size to fit in their lockers at the college. Uh, surprisingly, that's been, it's got a decent amount of storage space in it. But... Uh, yeah, so I started off with just that box, and then when I got closer to doing my placement for the course, I bought the bottom half because it was on sale as well at Canadian Tire. I was at the point where that thing was so full, I had tools sitting on the bench beside it because I couldn't fit them in the box anymore. <laughs> uh, so long overdue for a, a toolbox, I guess you could say long overdue. It was overflowing. So anyways, that's enough of me talking about this stuff. Um, I'll roll the clip so you can see the, the new box. Again, super excited, and it has definitely increased my efficiency at work. It's so much nicer being able to open drawers and not have to dig through stuff just to find a simple tool like a screwdriver. So, anyways, um, yeah, here we go. Okay, guys, so <clears throat> as you can see, um, it's a 46-inch Milwaukee toolbox, uh, and I bought the top and bottom uh, half of it. <clears throat> Um, I did a lot of research on toolboxes before I made up my mind on this, and I mean a lot. Um, one thing that I did find consistently throughout every review on this toolbox that I found was that anyone who was actually a mechanic working at a dealership or just not using it at home said that you would need the top and bottom, and they're 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 right. You do. Um, <clears throat> From a storage standpoint, you definitely need the top and bottom. Uh, I was thinking at one point of just getting the bottom. I'm glad that I didn't because this thing is already half slash three quarters full, but there's still lots of room in it um, for me to kind of grow into. But uh, yeah, so it's in red. Um, <clears throat> it's got the mat up top. So here in the first drawer, um, I've got all my screwdrivers. So on starting from the, I don't know, we'll just start from the, the right and we'll work our way to the left. So over on the right, you'll see my uh, snap-on screwdriver set that I bought. I got that pretty close to when I started um, working for the company that I'm working for now, just after my uh, placement. Um, I love those screwdrivers. Uh, I do kind of wish that I got them with the soft grip handles rather than the hard grip handles. Um but I did get them on a deal. Uh, so when I bought that set of screwdrivers, the set that's on the far left, the red ones, I got those for free with it, and I still got a discount on the regular price for the snap-on screwdrivers. Beside the snap-on screwdrivers, uh, so kind of in the middle there, you've got uh, my newer set of picks. Um, use those a little bit with fuel lines, that kind of stuff, uh, with lawn tractors. Those ones are the soft grip. Um, <clears throat> I didn't show it, but uh, right underneath of that set of picks, there's also a blue point uh, bit driver set. So kind of like the ones in the top left corner of the drawer there. Um, it's got a whole bunch of bits and everything in it. Um, just above those picks, you'll see the precision screwdrivers. Not really sure where those came from. Um, they were given to me. I think they might be from Princess Auto, but I could be wrong. They come in handy for carburetor work. Um, again, not shown here, but underneath of that set of screwdrivers in the middle there is another precision pre bleh, precision set of screwdrivers. Um, it's kind of like the bit driver set, so it's just got a whole bunch of different um, ends, that, uh, but they're all like small stuff. Uh, and then that little case you see in the back top 
um, in the middle. That uh, that's actually a uh, tool that I got off of Amazon. So it's got five, I think, screwdrivers in it, but they're all spline screwdrivers for doing carburetor adjustments on like husky trimmers and chainsaws and, and all that stuff. Um, but definitely handy to have. Uh, so then in between the uh, picks and the red screwdrivers, you've got kind of miscellaneous screwdrivers. So I've got a couple Mastercraft um, larger Phillips because of the snap-on set doesn't have a number three Phillips. So the brighter blue one uh, in the center is a number three Phillips. The one to the left of that is a standard Phillips. Uh, then I've got a small snap-on sort of pocket screwdriver those are fantastic for carburetor adjustments that have a slot in them and then beside that you've got my two spring pullers so i've got the uh two different sized ones the orange one is the smaller diameter um, shank to it and then the green one is the thicker shank so moving along <clears throat> in the next drawer um so in here you've got my t-handled allen uh, set that I did a review on. I do have the uh, SAE set coming. It's hopefully going to be here this week and it will be right beside that set. Um, so that'll be good. Uh, the next drawer. Um, so this one I put my long Torx bits in on the far right. You can see them. Those are just from Princess Auto. Beside that are my Allen keys. Again, just Princess Auto. I think I got some Home Depot ones there. Don't even know where they came from. I might have got them for Christmas one year. Who knows? And then just a standard blowgun. Um, so that's pretty basic. Not much in that drawer. Um, the one thing you will notice is when I shut most of these drawers, they are soft closed. So that's pretty sweet. Um, and then the bottom one is a pull-out work surface. I have it empty right now. Over on the side. So the independent locking drawer. Don't really have anything quote unquote personal in there that I need to lock up. I just have gloves and stickers and that kind of stuff in there. Just, yeah, miscellaneous stuff, really. Underneath of that, so this is kind of my, I don't really know what to call this drawer. This is like, it's not really necessarily a junk drawer, but it's stuff that I kind of use all the time, like knives, obviously pens and pencils, that kind of stuff. Um, there is some miscellaneous shit in here, I guess, like some of the stuff in the top left corner. Um, anytime I put a tire tube in, if I'm cutting an old valve stem out, I'll save the cap just so you have them. You never know when you need them. Um, a lighter, <clears throat> uh, I've got my magnet in there. I've got my tire gauges, uh, knife, kni or knife, uh, blades, just a whole bunch of shit really um scrapers and then i put my punches up there i don't really use punches that much um so i figured that was kind of a decent spot just get them somewhat out of the way but still accessible and the next drawer <clears throat> so this one yes i know it's a giant mess these are actually a little more organized now i have them all laid out in this drawer as of today um this is all my stubbies so this has all the stubby uh wrenches in it it's got the i've got a set of sae and metric in both the regular open end box end wrench and then also in the ratchet wrenches um the ratchet wrenches in the stubbies they come with my ratchet wrench full length set um, when i bought all of that at canadian tire they're all mastercraft but i think those ratchet wrenches are actually gear wrench ones um <clears> that <throat> they have maximum on them because they're canadian they were at canadian tire but i believe they're made by gear wrench and i think the other ones in my which you'll see down below when we get there. I think they might be gear wrench as well. Um, <clears throat> and then in the last drawer of the top, we have all of my pliers. Um, kind of looks a little messy, but it, it, it works pretty well, actually. Um, I've got all the stuff that I use constantly right at the front of the drawer here in the, the holder. Um, so like my two vice grips, which I need to get more vice grips. Um, <clears throat> then I've got all my channel lock stuff. I tried just to buy all channel lock pliers when I was starting in the, the course, um, just because I hate how thick the grips are on the Mastercraft stuff. I cannot stand it. I don't know. It's just me or if you guys like them, but I do not like how thick those freaking grips are on all the Mastercraft pliers. So that's why I tried to buy the Janalock ones because they're basically just a coating over top of the metal, but they're still comfortable and I just find them easier to use. 
Um, above the tray there, the two sets of pliers that have the little red stripes around them, those are trim tools. Um, any of you guys that work in the power sports industry or want to get into this, um, especially if you're going to be working on player stuff, buy those. They sell them at Princess Auto. Um, they come with those two that you can see there. One's just got a, a right angle to them. And then there's one in the top right corner that you can kind of see it's another trim tool. Don't use it as much. But the other two you'll use all the time because everything that players makes, I swear to God, is held together some way by plastic darts with a, a center that comes out of the dart. And that basically pops the center out so you can pull the darts out. Um, <clears throat> down in the big drawer on the bottom cabinet, so this drawer here is the drawer I use for all my sockets. Um, in this video, my ratchets are in there, but I've since moved them. Um, <clears throat> so you can see I've just got my metric and standard shallow and deep sockets in here in my 3.8s. So that's all in the top left there. The black is metric. The, like the black trays are metric. The red trays are all SAE. Um, three eighths are on the on the left and then the two smaller trays are my quarter inch so below the two tray or below the trays you can see i've just got my standard uh set of allen bits and torques um all on the left there uh, a couple extra sockets that are just lying down there's a t-handle three eighths um uh, it's, it's got three eighths swivel on it that was part of a spark plug kit that i bought don't really use it. Um, in the center there, you've got my extensions. Another thing that I do need to invest in is getting more extensions because it'd be nice to have a little more of an assortment. Um, <clears throat> then kind of right up alongside the quarter inch trays there, um, I've got my adapters and my universal joints. Um, and then kind of moving over to the right, uh, you've got my two torque wrenches up top, so I just got a half inch torque wrench and a three eighths torque wrench. Both are from Princess Auto. Both have worked fantastic for what I'm doing. Um, I'll mo more than likely upgrade to a snap on torque wrench in the future, but again, cost. You know, starting out, you don't have a lot of money, so you make do with what you got. Um, and then, so below that, you'll see all my ratchets. So um, I've got my two snap on ones, which are the the two with the comfort grip on them. Um, in the red and the orange, and then I've just got an assortment of ratchets from Princess Auto and um, Canadian Tire. The black ones are the Stanley ones. I've talked about that in my review of, or my tool haul video for the uh, the quarter inch snap-on ratchet. I talk a bit about the Stanley ones and and uh, why they're they are what they are. Um, and then right along the bottom, there's a breaker bar, half inch breaker bar, and then my half inch sockets. Um, I really don't use half inch sockets that much. They're kind of a rare, uh, thing for me. Uh, but yeah, so that's that drawer. <clears throat> uh, just below that in the, uh, first, uh, half drawer. So this is all my wrenches. Um, <clears throat> all of the wrenches you see in the bottom two trays there so the left is my metric the right is my sae wrenches and then there's some of the bigger wrenches that i couldn't fit are just in the center there and I actually have more in a drawer below um, <clears throat> above these two you'll see all my ratchet wrenches so again i bought that in a set from canadian tire um, and it was almost the same amount of wrenches uh, so it's it was metric and, and sae um, so I have all those in there as well, and then the larger ones in the center. And again, there's there's even bigger wrenches in, in a drawer below. Um, so that's that's what I got for my wrenches. The first deep drawer. So in here, um, there in the bottom, you can see all the uh, really big wrenches um, that I just couldn't fit in the other drawer. Uh, I don't use them a whole lot, but the odd time I do. And there's some ratchet ones in there as well. Um, <clears throat> But uh, up from that, so in the top left, drill bits. It's just the 300 or however many piece drill bit set from Canadian Tire. I bought it when it was like 20 bucks. You can't really go wrong there. It's pretty good. Um, underneath of that is a hole saw kit. Um, again, if you're working at a dealership, uh, get one of those. I picked it up when it was on sale for like 50 bucks. Just over to the right is actually a brand new set of Husky it's a Husky Master <clears throat> set of Torx um, 
Allen and like the security torques, and then it's got uh, Phillips and flat, but they're all three H drive. Uh, so that's kind of more or less replacing some of the ones in the drawer above this or the, uh, the big drawer above this. Um, I bought that just over the black Friday weekend. It was at home Depot, 30 bucks. I was like, why not? Um, it also come with a ratchet, probably won't use the ratchet, but it was in there. Um, and then I got a hacksaw chilling down in the bottom from princess auto and an extra blade and then I got all my emery cloth um, <clears throat> and all that stuff just sitting in there. And in the bottom drawer, so in this drawer, um, this is kind of my diagnostic tools section, you could call it. Um, so on the left, I've got a blue point pressure and vacuum tester. Um, if you're working on small engines, just get one. That's all I can really say. You'll need it for testing carburetors. It's worth its weight in gold. Um, <clears throat> right beside that, I've got a leak down tester. That's another tool um, that uh, I borrowed a lot from my coworkers when I started. And actually, the one that I bought is the exact same as what the tech that I was borrowing it off of all the time. I think it's an ADT brand tool. I bought it off of Amazon. Uh, then I just got a small box of fuses in case I need them. I leave that little test wire out if I got a ground spark plugs. And then on the far right is the Mac Daddy. That's my fluke meter. Um, it's an 88V, the automotive kit. So it's the multimeter. It comes with the um, the alligator clip leads. And it also has a temperature um, probe and a clamp so that you can measure RPM. <clears throat> I bought that because I got a good deal on it while I was still at the college. Um, definitely, if you guys are, or if any of you guys are in school now, look to see if you ha get any deals on good brand tools like that while you're in the college. Um, if you guys want, I'll do a review sometime on that meter. Um, but it's it's fantastic. It's never let me down, and and you definitely you want to trust your meter when you're working on stuff. Um, so that's what's in the bottom drawer. Going over to the side. I have an empty drawer. Um, you can see that's the plug because this particular toolbox has a powered top and a bottom. Um, so I just haven't plugged it in yet, but that's that drawer. It's just empty for now. Underneath of that, this is going to be the persuasion drawer. Um, right now I got my uh, very sad selection of hammers and pry bars and stuff in there. So I got my mallet, my ball peen, Prince's Auto Special Boys right there. Um, Mastercraft pry bar. That come in a screwdriver set. Um, there's a small little pry bar slash trim tool thing beside that. And then I got my two pickle forks. <clears throat> I bought those from Princess Auto. Underneath that one, this is my quote unquote specialty tools, you could call it. So um, I've got my compression tester, which you can see kind of wraps around up top. Um, the, there's a green Ryobi temperature gun. So that's that. Uh, the blue case is a uh, <clears throat> digital uh, vernier, uh, just from Canadian Tire. Beside that, I got a mirror, extendable mirror. Um, beside that is a spark tester. I don't really use that. Beside that, it's just a small little brush. Use that for cleaning battery terminals. Uh, my feeler gauges are all sitting in there. I did the review on the the long handled ones. Haven't used those yet, but. Uh, they're in there. And then on the left there, uh, that's actually a Briggs part number <clears throat> tool. So that's a valve spring compressor. So that's what's in that drawer. And then the last drawer. Um, so this is empty right now, but you can use this for your power tools. This whole box is set up for Milwaukee tools, obviously, because they want you to use their brand. So like their shit will slot in here perfectly. And if you watch any toolbox reviews on this particular box, you'll see it. Um, but yeah, I just have it empty. That that whole thing comes out there, out of there, so you can use it as a just a deep drawer as well. But <clears throat> yeah, that's basically the the toolbox right there. I got my drills in that. You'll see here on the side, the bottom box has a power bar, top box has a power bar. There's pegboard in it. I haven't peeled all the stickers off yet, but yeah, I mean that's uh, that's basically it. Um, so. If you're uh, if you're still still with me here, then right on. Um, thanks for for sticking through the whole video. I know it was kind of a long one, uh, but yeah, I'm super excited about this box. It's it's definitely a big upgrade for me, and is so nice to work out of. Um, it was on sale for for Black Friday at Home Depot. Um, depending on when you see this video, it might still be on sale. I highly recommend getting it if you're 
going from a super small box and you can afford it up to up to this it, it'll make a big difference and i can grow into this but uh but yeah so there it is guys um i hope you enjoyed this video uh if you did please uh please give it a like um if you you want to leave a comment let me know what you think uh leave one below and uh make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see any upcoming videos that i have uh, i'll be doing more tool reviews on that and uh yeah so that's kind of it thanks for watching guys have a good one